Okay, we just want to do a quick summation and uh, final, analysis, final analysis of the photo-to-photo -to -photo comparisons that we did in this age regression. Uh, we'll start with the one photograph which we could safely eliminate as a possibility of being Josephine Earp, uh, which was the Prescott 1880 photo. Um, too many visual inconsistencies um, to um, say that, um, to strongly say that this, this could be her. Um, and one of the things we can do in photo-to-photo -photo analysis, we can eliminate much easier than we can authenticate. Um, I'm confident in eliminating this as a possibility of Josephine or for all the reasons that we stated. Um, we did a similar process for some of the initial photographs that we showed at the very beginning of this presentation. Um, and uh, the same conclusion was met with the ones we eliminated as a possibility. We wanted to actually go through and do a formal analysis of this to show you um, why we think it's not Josephine Earp, um, because uh, this photograph is, is heavily circulated as being Josephine Earp. Um, there are just too many inconsistencies for me to, to say that it's her. We created an age progression actually for you to look at and to sort of uh, ponder. Um, uh, where we think um, um, ranging from um, as early as 1877 all the way to 1940, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking about a um, close to a 60 years time span. <clears throat> the bottom photographs are all authenticated. Okay, these we know are Josephine Earp. When we stand back and look at the totality of all these images, um, it is possible to, to um, see uh, in a timeline uh, sort of this face that has evolved. Um, I am least confident in perhaps this photograph um, from the, one of the Alaska photographs, but it, in, in the scope of this age progression we see a lot of similarities and it sort of makes visual sense um, uh, for all the reasons that we covered in, during this presentation. These, once again, these are fully authenticated photos. These are the photographs which we analyzed. And this is, a, again, a theorized age progression. Uh, photo to photo analysis does not provide 100% concrete findings, but it does, uh, it can suggest that it is her and it can eliminate photographs. So, the way we're going to articulate it is this. Uh, I'm going to say it like this, that there is little evidence suggesting that this is not Josephine Earp. Okay, I didn't see any um, visual evidence or measurements that, that led me to say that anything but this, that this is Josephine Earp. So, it's just kind of a double negative. There is little evidence suggesting that this is not Josephine Earp. That is, I, I think it is, it is her, um, based on uh, visual analysis. Uh, the Coloma photograph, uh, there are the way I stated it was there are visual consistencies in, the, in um, between the authenticated photos and this photograph. Uh, there are provenance issues um, that do still cast some doubt, but based on the analysis that I did, there are visual consistencies in the facial in the faces of uh, the photographs that we looked at in the comparisons. Um, I said the same things for the Alaska photos. And that was, and so visual consistencies with uh, provenance, still questions about provenance. I'm a little more confident about this photograph at age 39. I say there is little evidence suggesting that this is not Josephine Earp. That is, I think it is her. So the two corner ones, I'm, I'm actually most confident in, um, and with, with the three middle ones, is a strong possibility that it's her, as there are a lot of visual consistencies. But um, I'm less confident than the corner photographs here. I've reproduced all of these photographs in Lady at the OK Corral um, and I invite the reader to draw your own conclusions.